Today, um, I would like to uh, talk about uh, my personal experiences on creating a data ecosystem in Korea. When we um, talk about data, nowadays, uh, as we all know, um, the data-driven economy is rising uh, very fast. But unfortunately, on the other hand, the oil-driven economy is going slowing down. Okay, now, I would like to uh, focus on uh, the Korea's data um, ecosystem. It consists of three main uh, uh, data platforms. First one, public, uh, open public data platform, which holds all the data from uh, government institutions. And uh, last year, we had uh, 47 million downloads uh, for this platform. And second one is, uh, we have 21 industry-centric big data platform, which holds structured and numeric data. And the last one is AI data platform, which holds unstructured and AI training data sets. Okay? Then uh, let's go back to 2020. Uh, at the time, the Korean government had two major challenges. First one, as we all know, uh, the government had to uh, um, overcome the COVID-19 caused economic crisis. The second one, uh, they had to find a way to uh, lead the uh, fourth, industrial, um, uh, fourth industrial revolution. So that, those are two, up, I mean, uh, homework the government has to do. Okay. That's why in 2020, the Korean government announced Korean New Deal. Uh, the, the Korean New Deal consists of three parts, networks, AI, and the last one is data. But the main theme was data. They really would like to focus on data. That's why they put Data Dam as the number one project for um, Korean uh, New Deal. You may wonder why data then, okay? Uh, if you look at the slide, 80% uh, develop, uh, for developing AI services goes, goes to data, which means uh, there are so many small companies suffering from finding data or creating data because, short, uh, because of a short of money or time. And uh, if you look at the right side, Korea, uh, in 2020, Korea was far behind on data compared to uh, AI leading countries. I would like to mention four lessons from data them project. First one, um, in order to create a data ecosystem in a country, we really have to improve data availability. How can you do that? Um, first of all, mandate all public institutions to open all data by the law, which means you really need to create big data. Um, the more data you have in your platform, uh, the more visitors, the more usage you will have in the future. And second one, evaluate provision and management of public data by institution every year. You, you have to check and balance all the time. And third one, provide data in different types. Um, for example, Excel, CSV, XML, JSON, or today, Open API is really good uh, tool for usage. Okay. And second lesson, uh, improve data accessibility. How can we do that? First of all, we really need to create different platforms for different data. People say, hey, let's have a big platform and put every data inside. It's not going to work because you really need to understand uh, each industry-centric data so that you really need to create each platform for the data. And second, connect data to data and platform to platform and make data flow through platforms. This is a very important thing. So, for example, in Korea, we use national data uh, integration map so that we can pinpoint every data where it is. Okay? Third one, develop 
and apply a single window for users um, to search and download data. People don't want to go to visit a lot of places. They just want to go one place to find or download. So this is, third one is really useful for the users. OK, lesson three, improve data quality. When we talk about data today, it's all about quality. Even though you have like big chunk of data, if quality is low, that's useless, garbage. So you really need to keep your data very high level. So how can we do that? First of all, establish a supporting uh, agency assessing data quality all the time. I mean all the time. And second, maintain sort of level data quality, which means the highest level data quality if you can. And third one, create online, offline channels to get feedback from uh, diverse users because they are the one who are using data. So you really need to listen to them every time, even though it's a small one. If you take those uh, feedback and then uh, you know, apply that feedback to your system, uh, they're going to love it and uh, more people are going to use your platform. Okay. And the last one is very important nowadays. Prepare AI training data sets. First one, how can we do that? First, create universal but unique AI training data sets. For example, I put a Dubai dialect data set. That's very unique, right? And uh, uh, for example, Dubai uh, Rose data sets. You are the person uh, who can create those data only, right? And second, create 70% of the data for current AI technology, but save 30% of data for the future AI technology. That's very important because you don't want to stick uh, today. You really want to push your country to future. So that's why you need to save 30% of the data for the future. And the last one, um, I, I mean, from my personal experience, this is the most important thing to do. Use crowdsourcing method to get more people involved and uh, uh, accumulated of knowledge. You would like to uh, expand this knowledge or experiences over the country. How can we do that? We can use crowdsourcing method for doing that, okay? For example, um, this is one example that I uh, led. Uh, uh, we had a AI train, training data sets for three years. Uh, total spending, uh, if you look at uh, the slide, $1.04 billion for three years. And uh, memory space, if you look at it, uh, over three petabytes we have right now. And uh, uh, participating companies, over 3,000 uh, AI companies we have. And the uh, uh, new employment, we created about uh, uh, less than uh, 200,000 employment, okay? Uh, so this kind of work is really important to create a AI industry in your own country. Okay, this is pretty much it. I would like to talk about a lot of things behind because there are so many stories and difficulties and uh, homework to do. And uh, we asked, I'm not saying we are done with these, but we are still working on it. But um, nowadays, uh, those three uh, platforms are working very fine and uh, we will uh, uh, looking for a lot of collaborate, uh, collaboration between Korea and uh, UAE. Thank you very much.